William. This is Dirty William. This is a quick build video. Uh, I've never done one of these before. The reason I'm doing this is because it's a very good free-to-play build, uh, ranger build. It is 18 ranger, one fighter, and one rogue. So there are, it's human, there are no pay-to-play classes or pay-to-play races. So you can do this right out of the gate as a beginning player. It is very survivable, it does decent damage, it has some good self-healing, and has some good versatility with the traps and other skills that I have. Uh, this is my main character. I've gone through... This is my 13th life on this character. I started off as a favored soul, and have gone through every class in the game except for uh, Artificer. Ranger I'm on currently. The next life will be Artificer, and then I will have unlocked or won the game or whatever with Completionist. Um, I'm hoping most people know what that means out there. Uh, basically just means I've leveled a character in every single class in the game, so you know, I quote-unquote win DDO. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I... my first character was a ranger, and I liked it for a while, but once you got up to like level 14 or 15, it was just awful. Uh, I took so much damage. I could not DPS anything at all. Uh, recent changes, however, have made it so that the Ranger is actually pretty decent. Uh, you have full Bab. It's a full Bab class. So, you're doing very good damage. Plus, you have some healing and some some other little tricks that you can do. So, it's uh, to me, it's a really good build. I'm just going to hit some of the highlights really quickly. The link for this build is in the description. This is not my build. I did not come up with this build. This is just a build that someone had made, and I thought I would try it out for my ranger life. One thing I want to highlight is this rogue level. Take that at level 1, obviously for the skill points. You're going to be doing traps on this life, so you need some trap gear, like disable device, and something for opening locks. They recently changed the tiers of the experience points that you get, the bonus XP from, I think it was like 8, 10, and 15%. Now the tiers are 10, 20, and 30%. That is huge. I mean, that's that's a lot of XP to get in a quest just for doing some traps. And, like, if you're running Heroic Elite, which most people do nowadays, to level up more quickly, Elite traps will kill you dead. They will end up in a, you will end up in a party wipe. So, this rogue level will make you, give you the ability to do the traps and basically save lives and stuff. Now, really quickly about the skills. I put into... I put my skill points into Concentration, Disable Device, uh, Open Lock, Search, Spot, and UMD. One skill, Spot in particular, some people don't put points in the spot because they know where the traps are. The Spot skill will just... if you see or sense something dangerous, like a trap, there will be up here there will be a, a, a window that pops up saying, you sense danger. So then you can stop, you can click search, and you can try to find that trap, and then disable it. I like Spot because even though I've gone through all these lives, I don't remember where all the traps are. I mean, I've slept since then. I've got stuff to do. This is, you know, I like playing this game, but it's not, this isn't something that I do every single day. Or, I, you know, I sit down and play this game for eight hours a day. I just, I like the game, but I don't like the game that much. So, some people put points in the spot, some people don't. I did, because I want to make sure I can find those those uh, traps and secret doors and whatnot. The feats are pretty basic. Again, they're all listed in the build. Cleave and Great Cleave. Uh, greater two weapon fighting, because you're, you're going to be using one weapon in each hand. And improve precise shot for a little bit of extra DPS. Uh, mini shot, I think you get free power attack. Precision, I took as a level 18 feet because that's what the build called for. I don't use it though. Somebody said that you're supposed to use it against high fortification bosses. Great, but yeah, I don't really mess with it. My spell loadout really quickly. Merfolk's Blessing. Ram's Might. Jump. Resist Energy. Some Cures. This because I needed something to put in there. Bark Skin. Freedom of Movement. Even though it's been nerfed, it's still really good. And we have Wild Instincts. This helps a lot because, as you can see, it gives you a plus 10 insight bonus to your listen and spot. Well, the spot, if you're going to be doing traps, which is what this life should should entail, you're going to be maybe 
if you're running Heroic Elite and you don't have a good spot item, this will help out quite a bit because it, it will stack. It's an insight bonus. So that's really helpful in my opinion. The enhancements, I'm going to get out of this and show you really quickly in this. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we have some human stuff. This is a thing that I took. I wanted to try this live again. It's in the build. Is uh, the Dragon Mark of Passage, so you can get a quick uh, the Expeditious Retreat, and you can get the Dimension Door, which that helps with questing really, you know, zerging things through. Let's see, we've got uh, Greater Heroism. That's useful because it gives you a plus four to all your skills, plus it gives you some extra, you know, bonus hit points and stuff like that. Uh, Kinsei, we have a core there for archery, because I'm going to be using a, a bow. Then we have a haste boost, attack faster, that uh, is an action boost, so it, it will stack with haste if you have a haste clicky or have haste uh, casted on you. Uh, then we have mechanic, that I took just because it said to take it. Um, I think mostly it's just for that point blank shot range. But I opened that up so that I could put some points into Disable Device and open lock this mechanics uh, tier here. Then we have Arcane Archer. We have some points here for... Uh, gives me a plus three to my Listen, Search, and Spot and my two hit. The only thing I don't like about this tree is the Energy of the Wild it gives me extra spell points, which is great, but I wish I had Put that into conjure arrows. Why? Because with many shot, I run out of arrows really often. Uh, I mean, you can buy arrows pretty cheap, but still, I run out pretty quickly. Deepwood Stalker Tree. We have Exposing Strike, which is useful because it procs, it gives you the ability to do sneak attack damage to a mob. Uh, they die more quickly. They hit you less. You spend less resources on on healing. You stay alive. This is useful as the uh, Empathic Healing. This is opened up by taking these two, I believe. This gives you po uh, plus to your positive spell power. This is like an AoE healing thing, which is useful in groups. Then we have the meat of the build, as far as enhancements go, and this is the Tempest Tree. I won't go over everything, but the, the brass tax of it is a little bit of strength. Uh, all the cores except for the last one, because you have to be a level 20 Ranger. Uh, this tree, or this part of the tree, will give you a plus one to hit and damage whenever you're dual wielding. So four tiers of that for a plus four altogether. A little bit of damage over time with bleed them out. And that's pretty much it. Now, as far as your gear that you want to have, since you're going to be doing traps, you want to make sure that you have some decent trap gear. Check out the auction house, see what you can find, see if some of your guildies or somebody might have something. Post in the, the general chat and say, hey, I'm looking for a plus five spot item. Most of the stuff on Korthos, if you start this character fresh on Korthos, the Troubleshooters set, go for that, because that will help you out. So, I mean, if you're, if you're starting off playing, it's a really good character to, to play. You don't need that much gear, because you're probably going to be running Heroic Normal, maybe Heroic Hard. You know, if you're, if you're tackling Elite or something like that, you're probably going to need something else to give you a bonus until some of your enhancements and, and whatnot kick in. So, uh, just... Try searching the auction house for whatever level you are. Search for disabled device, uh, spot, search items. You're going to need all that gear. I mean, my I've got gear all over the place here for for various things because this is like a it's a very versatile class, I think, and I always like to have different weapon sets. And since I'm doing traps, I want to be able to have good gear for those traps to be able to to get those traps. Because again, since they had that, the whatever the, the update was where they they increased the amount of XP you get, it's it's insane. It really is cool. So try this build, give it a shot. Uh, I was down on Rangers for a long time, but since they did the enhancement changes and the uh, changes to the PRR and uh, the physical resistance rating and the light armor, heavy armor stuff, um, I don't use robes anymore. I just go for whatever I can, you know, uh, in this case it's light armor, so it's, I have evasion. But, uh, yeah, roll up the character and, and check it out. The link is in the description. It's very fun, very versatile, and, I mean, I'm a crappy player, and this got me all the way to, you know, level 23 now, uh, doing some epics. So, give it a shot, try it out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and leave a comment. I'm going to try to do some more build things like this in the future, so, you know, keep, uh, keep tuned to my channel for more. Take it easy.
Bye-bye.